Okay, let's continue with the, where I'm in the basement area. So we finished the vent. So what I want to do now is um, I need to bring water down into the basement area from the first level. We're in the basement, which is highlighted here. And let's go up to the base, uh, up to the first floor. Uh, I think I need to not show that. And we are showing water, this plumbing plan, the water uh, uh, view. Okay. So these are just controlled by um, your view filters. So I have a water, fil water view, which is controlled by my filter. Okay. That's the cold water, hot water. And these are the waste, but what I've done is copied my waste and and filter out the water, right? Filter out the water so the water doesn't show up, okay? It's just a duplicate, which makes it a little bit easier. That's why this is waste and vent view. And this is the water view. It's kind of easy the way Revit does that. But I just want to give you, just want to show you how those two are different and the reason that they're different. So I'm going, I don't need the waste because I'm working on the water. So it's not too confusing. And over on the right hand side, this is what's actually visible. If there's more than four or five or six, it starts to populate over here on the right hand side under this arrow okay but because I have four it's everything is is um, shown which is what this ribbon can show here so we are basement and then first level and this water um, pipe is um, is uh, is what's drawn in the ceiling space uh, to supply the um, this floor plan so based on my notes and let's see what this is a let's tag this just to I can either draw a leader that's attached, right? Go with this, or I can draw a leader that's a free end, okay? And I can go like this, and I can do this. Or like I was saying, or you can go attach the end with leader, and it's just gonna be like that. And then you can manipulate how it, how it looks. Okay, but it's attached, okay? Uh, but I like to use the free end anyway. <laughs> so there's so much to Revit that it's easy to get sidetracked when you're trying to explain things that are going on with Revit. Um, but anyway, let me tag this with no leader. Uh, it's just gonna, I'm just going to put it here just to give us a reference and go back down to the basement area because you're going to need to pull water from this three inch cold water and have it go down to the basement level okay now in the basement level i want to i can either have it come it needs to go down into the wall because otherwise in the basement level if i bring it down somewhere it, i can't just bring it down anywhere it has to go down into the wall i can't have it come down through the ceiling space and down into the floor exposed right so what I usually do is I just use a, a, a trial and pipe. So a three inch, but I want this to be in the, uh, I think it's 10, my cold water in the basement area, and which is typical throughout this project. It's 10 foot six, 
So 10 space 6. And it's a 3 inches. It's just arbitrary. Just to give us an idea of where I, I want it to come down in this wall. Or this wall. Or this wall. And these should be. These should be full height walls. Or they may not be. But we'll see. Um, so let's go here. And draw. Cold water. Cold water. Cold water. And. Let's go here, and this is in the ceiling space, but what I need to do is go up to the first floor to see where I can connect to come down into the wall space. So I hope that made sense. Um, so now that I'm in the wall space, I want to change this to an elevation that's going up through the first level okay uh, I'm gonna change this to 20 and go down into the working environment come back up and apply okay so that's gonna go up and I can use this tab and copy copy this over to here and over to here but I Let's see. Um, here, let's rotate that 180 and 180, 180, and move. I'm using my arrow key to move that over. I don't know. I don't think I want to bring it down here as a central location. I want to use this um, wall or this wall. So I'm going to delete this one. So I tab and delete. And so I can, this gives me a reference that I can use so to, to figure out which wall. So let's go back up to the first level and see where we are. Okay. So it looks like it's coming up through the floor here or down through the wall here and over here. I don't think I want to use this one because it, it, I don't know, this might be a, some kind of plumbing chase or could be a ducting chase here. So I'm going to delete that uh, pipe. So I'm going to use the piping on the left hand side. I'm going to delete this. Okay. So, so we go back up to the first floor. Let's go up to the first floor. And I'm going to move this guy somewhere in the wall space here. And maybe right there. That's the basement. So that's the first floor. Okay. Let's see. I think I need to go here just to get it in the, in the wall space. Okay. So that looks like a good area to come down. Uh, I don't like this corner because a lot of times when you're constructing, there's a lot of uh, stud wall metal in this area. But I'm going to let the contractor figure that one out. So I'm going to go down in this wall in the ceiling space. Okay. Uh, let's just move this guy over. Okay. And the size is going to be based on the fixture units, right? And see, the water clauses are 10 fixture units each, so that's 10, 20, and the laboratories are 1.5 each. So that's 1.5 plus 1.5, so that's 3, 23, right? Okay, so 23 fixture units. And let me look at my notes for 23 fixture units. It's, it's probably going to be like a one and a quarter inch pipe, okay? So I'm going to change this to a one and a quarter inch pipe. 
Okay, that's coming down. And go up to the first level. Come here. And right click and create similar. Which is going to come off. Middle elevation. Why is that? Should be 10. Should be 10, 3. 10, 6. Okay. And let's take a look at that. Uh oh. So that's 10, 6. This, uh, I'm going to turn off the background because I don't want to select the link. So over on the left hand side, you can do that. Um, and I'm going to highlight and look at that view. So we are here in the ceiling space. So this is all architecture stuff. That's the ceiling. This is the first floor. Should be first level. Okay. So I'm going to leave that alone. Um, so let's go back to the first level and connect. So we highlight, right click, create similar. I'm going to go here and use one and a quarter inch. Come here and down. Let's see. Okay, so we got our dynamic um, uh, connection here. Okay. And what I like to do at this point is go to my overall 3D view. And let's look at it like this. Okay. And this is the connection that I need. Okay. So this is less than, uh, that's 10, 6. Okay. So I'm in the ceiling space of the basement at 10, 6. You guys can see that. So this is the basement area. Let's go front. So this is all basement area. And this is the first level area. So we're going to make that connection. Let's go back. And we can look at it like this. Let's go here. And modify for fillet. Okay, here and then here. Okay. So now we've we've we have the connection for our cold water pipe going down to the basement area. Okay. So first I wanted to make sure that I could go down in the basement area using um I don't know. Mm, maybe a, con a construction pipe. I guess you could call it a pre-construction pipe or something like that just to find out how we could do that. So we've done that, and now we're in the basement area at 10.6, okay? I went in a quarter, so I'm gonna go all the way over and connect. One and a quarter, I think, can go here and change this to a one inch, because the this laboratory is gonna require a one inch, and my, I mean my, Water closet is going to require a one inch, and my laboratory is going to require, I'm going to say three quarter inch. So I'm going to transition to a one inch at this location, and transition to a three quarter inch for my um, laboratory. So, so from here we can. The um, for cold water is usually on the right hand side, but for us because it's on it's facing the opposite, so we do opposite, so it's going to be left hand side, right? So we draw a pipe and make sure we have the right type, cold water, and cold water for our system type. I'm going to come out just a little bit and go back up into 10.6, okay, but before I do that, I have to tell Revit how high I want it to go, right? 
So I go back up to the middle of elevation and change this to 10 space, uh, I think 10 space six, okay? And then make this connection, okay? And the way that looks in 3D is we are here, okay? So we're here, and that's our connection. Basement connection, we come up and we connect into our cold water. That's, I'm gonna filter out some of this because we're only working in cold water at the moment. I'm going to turn off the other pipe system, okay, so we can see what's going on. Section two. Water, water, overall, okay. Let's see, do I need, I'm gonna delete, I'm gonna close that one out. And uh, view, <clears throat> I think, let's see, I was, uh, uh, it's okay, I think I'm just gonna, draw it out here so i click this one and go back to um my tab view okay and for my water closet it's going to be a one inch let's drag this out sanitary water okay we come out here and that looks big, but it's a one and a half inch. That's too big, that's too much. Okay, so I think that what I need to do, I'm gonna change the this family because it's, it's one and one half inch by default. So let's go back up, let's edit this family. And this is the water closet, and I need to edit the family type, which means it's just gonna apply to all of them. Water supply fixture units. I think that I need to change this diameter to a one inch. Okay. And I'm gonna say okay to this. Load back up into my project and I wanna override my parameter value and say yes, I would like it to be edited. So let's see what happens. Um, cold water connection. Draw my pipe. Ah, uh, that looks better. I hope that this works. Cold water. Uh, okay, cold water. One inch. One inch, okay. One inch and should be a fixture unit value of 10. Okay, fixture units is 10. Okay, so we're on the right track. We got it, we got it. Okay, um, right here, and now I need to go up to 10 foot 6, so I highlight, yeah, I could, let's see if there's a 10 foot 6 here, yeah, so here, okay, that's good, go back up, okay, make that connection. And this water closet, because I changed the type connection, should be a one inch uh, water pipe. Cold water, cold water. Let's come out to here so that I can make that elbow fitting. And then 10 foot six. Go back up to, is that a one inch? Yeah, it's, I think it's okay. 
All right, okay. And last but not least, we are going to go to the cold water side. Pipe, cold water here. That's probably, is it one half? Yeah, uh, that's okay. And 10 foot six, we come up here. And there's gonna be a transition somewhere. So I want it to be three quarter inch here. I'm just gonna fill it and see what happens. <laughs> so maybe, I think, I'm gonna change this to a three quarter inch. Three quarter inch, three quarter. Okay, just for demonstration purposes. Three quarter inch. Okay, three quarter inch, okay. So looking at the overall 3D view, so we have our connection. Okay, everything looks okay. And I should have a total of, what was it, 23 fixture units in this uh, pipe uh, riser. So if I can go over here, I should say, it should say 23 fixture units. Okay, and that's our GPM, which follows Hunter's curve um, as close as close as possible. It doesn't do it too bad. It does a pretty good job of, of doing that. Okay, so I think that I'm gonna stop here with the cold water. So next will be the hot water connection because we have our vent and we have our, let's, let's go back. So we have our vent uh, view, which is our waste. Okay. And our water, water, water basement. Okay. So everything looks good. So what I could do, which really doesn't, I don't know if it's gonna do anything, but if I turn on just this, well, I don't know why I'm doing this now. Okay, it just goes to show the different, the three types of systems that we have. Uh, of course, see, this is the riser, so I can change this a little bit. Let's move it down some. Maybe that's why I was doing this. See, I can go down some, cause otherwise, but the contractor can do all of that. They can make that minor connection cause we know this is not real world stuff. It's just graphics, right? So the contractor would see that and he would, you know, manipulate this in a way. So, and because we have, we, when we, when I put this on a, on our, um, sheet is going to be two two views one is going to be this hot and cold water view probably with a hot water return and and our waste view on our sheet so okay so it looks like i'm gonna i'm gonna stop here uh so that's, that's it for the cold water, and I will talk to you guys later.